Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary This is Total War Sun Zian campaign. This is episode 7. We pick it up from turn 54 in the spring season of 201. So, uh, we ended last episode by uh, wiping out uh, Shizia's last territory. They do have an army on the map still. Uh, they'll probably just run into a commander and suicide and they will be officially destroyed. Uh, now we just have to do a little bit of cleanup. Uh, we're done with the south. Uh, we, we have unclaimed territories to our west. We're going to keep it that way. Uh, it's a little bit too pricey to expand. And also we might bump into another faction, which we don't want to happen right now. Uh, Hepu's, uh, this is a lumberyard uh, in Hainan, uh, Hainan Island right here, Hainan Dao. Uh, we're going to ignore that for now. It's kind of a luxury uh, pickup a bit later for Hepu. And other than that... Um, we're also not going to expand anywhere to our eastern front, uh, keeping Han Empire as our neighbor is definitely great. We're going to shift the army back to take these two Han Empire territory with um, people guarding it. And then we'll start eating into Liu Bell's territory in the south. Uh, we might leave him a couple lands so that he'll just keep colonizing for us. That would be pretty good. And eventually, when we feel strong enough, once the economy starts developing down south that support us, uh, we can start taking these high empire territories well over here. Our goal is to swallow up the west before we go east. Uh, so with that said, let's get the level up here on Sun Ce. Uh, we want him to pick up Devastating Roar. So we're going to fly through from the top. Uh, many, many skills left. Three more levels. It'll take a while. And we're going to get rid of his retinue. Uh, mercenary units, you know, are temporary units anyways. And the militia cavalry, uh, we can live without as well. And what we're going to do is just recall him. And recall Gan Ning as well. Uh, for Lu, Lu Fan. Uh, Lu Fan. Uh, Lu Fan. I keep making that mistake. Got too used to saying Lu Fan. But Lu Fan. Um, I want him to attack here. But if we judge how long it'll take him to get here, like eight turns, right? So it's not worth keeping him uh, like such. What we're going to do is just recall the whole retinue and resummon him. It'll be a one-time cost, but we actually save, you know, eight turns of upkeep of them doing nothing. It's going to be worth it at the end because if you think about it, the upkeep of 235 versus, uh, say, having the unit summoned at the full cost of like 1,000 or 800-ish, depending on... Uh, the army composition that he's being summoned into. Uh, it's really just four turns. It's going to be more cost effective to Die. summon See him back big. out, especially since we do have some redeployment discount. Uh, over here, yeah, this is the commandery that's really debatable right now. We could abandon getting more fishing port uh, reforms because ultimately what we want our fishing port to be is right here. Uh, with 6 food plus 100 commerce income, which is pretty good and no upkeep. Uh, but to get that, we got to go pretty deep into a separate branch in the green reform. So it's going to take a while. So what we could do here is actually just make this a food production commandery. And it will be quite simple. With 4 buildings, we don't need to downgrade. We do need to switch the four buildings, though. What we want... Let's get rid of this. Uh, do I want to invest in the school branch? Like, right here. We get archers, which is kind of meaningless for us because we have mercenary archers. I don't think we're going for this anytime soon, even though we do have spice. Hmm... The thing about the school is we got to keep it for four turns. This is quite a nice building, but it really doesn't fit into our food build. So we might demolish this too. It's a shame, really. Let's keep it for now. We'll build the building slowly one by one. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, right, the character is the same. Uh, the sword, is that new? That is new, okay. We do have another administrator that, yep, well I had him selected, there we go. Uh, that worked perfectly. 
he could also use this boost. Builder. Commerce. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to flip these. Since most of the building are built already here. Lady Wu's going to drop that. Hand that over. Help out the build. Who has the plus 9? Alright, we're going to wear the plus 9. And we're going to give her... The plus... Wait. I thought we did wear the plus 9. I guess we didn't equip it. We just removed. Okay. And then she'll wear the plus 3. Alright, I think this works out. We have 7k income and we have uh, um, in the treasury and 3.7, 3.6k per turn now, which is great because we basically got rid of a full army. Uh, it will come back up once we resummon Lu Zhi. Uh, we do have to go back to take care of Yu Jin over here. It'd be nice if we can capture him somehow. Hmm. We're going to build this. Ah, uh, we should have mm, we should have built it when we still had the builder. It would have been quicker. Uh, we could have swapped. Mm, maybe we can still switch it back, but it's probably not worth it. We're going to summon these guys back. We don't need them for this fight. They can make it back in time. Uh, speaking of in time, maybe they should march. This way, they're guaranteed to be back in time. Alright, let's see. We have... Oh, we want Lady Wu on assignment in our highest peasantry commandery. And we're talking about... Probably one of these. 265, 335. So Tang Wu it is. She can continue to gain some levels here. All right, this. Honestly, none of these buildings, like there's two ways you can build this. You can ignore the spice market completely because none of these buildings are going to boost it. But because we got a level four in building for free, we're going to take the approach of using uh, commerce and industry or else you can just have this as a food commandery, which is fine as well. But we should have enough food. That's not a concern for us. Uh, we want to eventually level it up. Right now we're going to build this. We finally have some cash. Mm. I want to make Nahai an income commander as well. well. I'll think about that. Hold on. This is fine. We're not upgrading the port. So, so... If we're going in oh, we're definitely going income with the harbor because it's faction wide. Right. Okay. Uh, which also means we gotta do one conversion. Wait, where is right here? We must convert this because it's faction-wide bonus to uh, commerce. Even if we want food commandery, we still want faction-wide bonus. And that takes us down to no gold, uh, which is fine. Um, I don't think we want any of these positions just yet. Let's see. We don't meet any new factions. We're gonna summon army here. Rebel soon. We're going to actually recall all our generals back and decide on a new army for our second, basically, primary army in a way. And once we get a little bit extra gold, what we're going to do is we're going to divorce her, uh, Wang Mengjuan, away from Shixie. 
and marry her off to Gan Ning as his reward. Um, she's 41, but that's fine. We just need a little bit of cash for the divorce and marry. A thousand for the divorce and uh, two thousand for the marry. It's Gan Ning's reward. Um, but we have to check if they get along. Um, I guess if they don't get along, it's also fine. We're adding a little bit of a narrative element of Gan Ning leading an army down south of the Pearl River as a former pirate, eliminating uh, Shi Xie's faction for us and stealing his wife, capturing and employing her, sparing her life and taking her for ourselves. Okay, so with that all said, I think we're solid. Let's continue. All right, uh, and Yuan Shu is asking Liu Bao to join war against uh, Gong Du's faction. Okay, they're battling out west too. Interesting. Lu Fan, honest. Okay, honest is good. Everyone's healed and back. Uh, this army did come over here. We could actually attack them. If we really want to capture him, we can actually look for three generals with patience, just put them here as reinforcement, and get them to attack them, and then we can capture him pretty much guaranteed, I think. Uh, which we're going to do, and demonstrate that. Uh, they don't get along with people who are working there, I see. Hmm. Hmm, before we summon them, let's see, who has patience? Well, it can only be, okay, so Lu Su has patience, but he's on assignment, so it can't be him. It can only be strategist, Lu Fan, but he has a huge retinue, so we're not summoning him there, so it can't be him. It can also be champions, okay. It can also be sentinels, these are the only three classes, okay, so Huan Zhi. That's one. Okay, two. And we can also get him killed here. Oh, we don't have enough money to summon him. Hmm, so only Huan Zhi. Ah, Lu Meng. Zhou Yu. Okay, that's three right there. That's 75% capture chance. And if we could get one more, it'd be great, but I don't think we can. Do they have it? He doesn't. Uh, but he does. So we have four. So this is 100%. It's not guaranteed because he also has a base escape chance uh, built in as well. Uh, but it's nice. It's nice. Four four should be good enough, I think. We'll play our odds. Uh, we'll do the buildings after we summon our army because that's more important right now. Let's raise... Oh man, who did we say? We said... Okay, I remember Zhou Yu for sure. Oh, him as well, but he's too expensive. Joey's on assignment. Okay, Lu Meng. Lu Meng's one. Uh, not only Lu Meng, but we also have Huan Zhi is two. Another thing I'm worried about is, are they in reinforcement range? Yes, they are. But to be safe, we can just summon them in this army. Because it wouldn't hurt movement. I guess we could invest for the strategist to come out because we do want to get him killed and pass his unit on to him which would work out perfectly yes it would because he does have reach and energetic which makes him a great leading general so big investment so we do have four generals now with um, patience. Zhou Yu has it, but he's on assignment, so he can't come out join us. And now we strike. Zero percent. Why? Okay. Oh, this doesn't take into effect of the the patient skill. Yeah, this doesn't. This is just base percentage plus decisive victory. So he's actually a negative 6% plus our 100%. He'll be to 94. So pretty good shot at getting him. And over here, he's guaranteed capture if we win this and if we don't kill him. Do we care about him? Uh, we don't know his traits. So I don't know if I should keep him alive or not. Um, but let's jump in here. Alrighty, welcome to... A Pokemon capture episode. 
where we use patience generals to capture enemy generals here. Um, so this map is very familiar for me because we've been fighting yellow turbans in this exact map forever. What we're going to do though is probably just stick to the very edge of our deployment zone here. Now let's get move them over. Get them right here. And continuous rain down south. Um, let's get these guys here. And... Alright. We'll hide these on the side. We don't want to duel. Who has a... Uh, no one ex No one has a anti-charge buff. Which is good, because the damage buffs are better. Uh, skills. I'm going to put this a little bit off to the side. We're going to hide some of these... Hmm, where is their cavalry going to come from? I think this is a pretty good bet. Alright. I think we're good. Your job is to die, so you're charging forward. We're trying to pass on these infantry at Zin over, uh, Zin over to um, our other uh, commander here. I don't actually need these units to be. I don't. I don't want them to die in the fight because if there's no unit to pass over, there's no unit. He, there's no point of him dying. So these guys will stay in the back. We'll just let the archer march up. Uh, Lumon's pretty strong, actually. Hmm, we didn't get the city garrison, so no help from Taishu Tsu. But we should still be able to win this. Hold on. Um, now, how do we turn off Opegness of the Forest? Hmm. I don't know. Well, we're going to start a fire. Even in the rain, we can light up a fuse. Alright, we weren't actually all hitting. The angle was off. Alright, we're not sure if they're there or not, but... It's burning, technically. Just we can't... Alright. More infantry in. Maybe we'll get more infantry in on Yu Jin, which is pretty nice. Smoke them out. Alright, alright, get him killed. Get him killed. Char charge into the infantry. Again. There you go. Buy us time. If he charge in, they'll stall and we'll get really good shots. Well, they do have one cavalry unit, but I think they're just going to avoid our. Oh, they're going to avoid that. He's on his ground. Alright. He's doing his job. It's a bit cruel. We capture this general from... Mm, nope. We captured him from... Oh, don't route. That's his thing we don't want him to do. If he routes... Alright, you're on him. Light up, light up that oil. He's not dying. He's beating infantry. What's going on? Why is our strategy so strong? Alright, it's not just you guys who can't see through the forest. I can't see through the forest either. Don't route. That's the key. Ah, uh, he routed. How do we guarantee him to die? I guess the only thing we can do is... I mean, for strategists, it's like... We can't guarantee him into a duel where he dies. Alright, alright, he's back. Charge! Fight! Do not run! Oh, here they come. Alright, we want one of them to hit them. One of them to hit them. Alright, 
Uh, let's see if he can bounce back. I need him to bounce back. Oh, we could have walked him into the fire. Please bounce back. Only minus 18. Still minus 18. We could try to... Alright, they're, they're done? Why can't I control them? Alright, all right, we got one shot left. We could try to hit him. He has, what, 2k health? So if we get him with two fireballs, we can kill him. I'm ignoring that. That's not important. Alright. If he would stop routing... Okay, minus eight. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, they'll fire the unit. Still minus eight. We can try it. It'd be better if we can hold him still. Yeah, I think he's just gonna keep running. Alright, it's up to the fates now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Still two more shots. Hit him. Ah, uh, I think we failed. He runs way too fast. Yep. We missed. That's those two shots. Alright, he lives. We'll try to kill him somehow. In the next fight. Alright, let's go back to our real fight. Our archers are used up their ammo. Their generals are not dead. Their infantry of Jin is not dead. Interesting. Okay. We'll finish them off with our cavalry. Oh, they routed. So they should route too now. Okay, so he starts on the left side of the skill tree. Not too bad. Where's the little spikes on the ground? Oh, there they are. Alright, no mercy. Let's go. Oh, our poor units. Alright, let's protect Luzhi. Let's not kill him. Alright. Alright. Oh, don't kill him, don't kill him. We want to capture. Alright. Let's see if we get him with 100% extra. Or oh, 94%. Alrighty. And we didn't capture them. Wait, that doesn't make any sense, though. The game lies. I mean, we should have at least captured him. Twenty-five percent chance of capturing enemy officers post-battle. Does this not work? Hmm. Well, uh, so both both plan failed. We'll try to get him killed next turn by running him into this army again. We have one... Do we even have one? No, we don't have any more seasonal deployment slots. So we're stuck this turn with the army that we have. We did get a little bit of extra income, so we could build some stuff. Mm, we can't make this into a city. Shame. All right, over here, our demolition crew. Oh, we could downgrade for a little bit of money first. All right, let's do that. 
And what we want here is just food. Alright, and we want another slot, so we're going to demolish this entirely. Okay, 800 gold left, no armies to move. Rebellions... Okay, two turns away in two places, so we got to recruit armies for that. Uh, next turn. Let's check diplomacy, still solid. Uh, Shizia's army is not dead. They're not suiciding yet either. I hope they do it soon. Uh, but let's continue. Alright, Liu Bell commanded their vassal to join the war against Gongdu. Okay. Reckless versus disciplined. We want disciplined. Oh, Trinko, good trait. We got a black stallion. Okay. Luger, what's your horse? Okay, not as good. Now, who is going to be another strategist? He is going to be one. Oh, Liu Fan actually is currently one. He's actually out there fighting. They are marching closer to their death, so we don't have to worry about them. Another commander. 23. Okay, it doesn't look 23, but 23. Ah, greedy. Concerned. Committed. Hmm. Two good ones, one bad one. Potentially wife material, that's what I'm thinking. We have a bunch of kids that we need to marry off. Uh, but they can't wait. Um, Alright, so... Let's get this part of the plan done. We'll try the capturing again. We'll let them reinforce. We'll send them to attack. Alright, so we don't want night battle, we want everyone present. So now there's a 14% chance. It's weird though. Hmm. Anyways, uh, we're gonna fight this to control his death. Um, I'm probably gonna cut it out though, it's not really worth showing, so see you guys at the end. Alrighty. We got our strategist killed. I don't know if we captured them or not, but at least we did that. We had to kill him with our own trebuchet though. He was routing, and we used up our ammo to kill him. I right, captured one, not the one we want, and we can't recruit him, so we must have get some cash out of him. We don't need replenishment, we need money. Alright, we successfully passed on the infantry of Jin over to him. Okay, so we're going to get rid of everything except for those two units. That's the whole reason why we did this. Perfect. They are pricey. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, that's a interesting look, isn't it? I'm trying to think who he is, historically, and I'm I don't know. Hmm. I'll look it up. Um, we can chase them again. Give it another shot with this army and just have them reinforce we're just trying really hard to capture Yijin still 0% alright let's just delegate this it's getting ridiculous 
Alright, say hi to him again. 200 gold. Alright, we popped his resiliency, which, you know, not great. He's probably gonna hate some of our people for killing him. Alright, this is our main army for defense. I think we're gonna have to just stash him. Unless we want to form an army with him. Which is also a possibility. But we, uh, we can't recruit in this stance, which means we can't check if we can summon someone compatible with them. And we're getting attacked over here. That's just great. Uh, we're going to lose the livestock farm, seems. Changxi? Hmm, okay. That's fine. We'll defend around here for a while. We'll actually raise Lu Fan's army for sure. Right, that's our main core army here. And we'll pick two generals who can work well with him. We could do a range comp with our leader, which makes sense because our leader should be fighting on the front line here. And duels with him will give us more heroism. We're going to let our sons lead their own armies, and we're just going to take Huang Gai with us, Old Faithful here, for the cavalry portion of the army. Oh no, I meant to summon them here. Ah, uh, it's the same thing. We're just stuck here with mustering for a few turns. Unfortunate. I wanted to do rice patty, and then go here. Uh, can't go back now. Hong Gai will lead for extra replenishment, also extra range. There's still three turns, but a little bit faster. Oh, nothing else really changed. I guess they can fight a rebel group too. Hmm. What we could do here is just take a very ranged approach to the army comp. Where we just bring mercenary archers, or maybe just these, super cheap. I don't think Liu Bao is that strong over here. Oh, actually no, he has a lot of infantry of Xin. A lot of shield unit, so maybe axe. We'll use our axe units to debuff their shield units and use these as frontline with shield wall. And over here we'll do the cheap uh, cavalry militia. Why is it not cheap anymore? 122? I thought it was like 80 something. Do we not have that boost anymore? Oh, we don't. What happened? Ah, 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 mistake. Mistake was made. We can't have this for income. We need this for commander of the masses for discounts. So, that's a silly mistake. Hmm. Yeah, foreman's not useful in uh, Changsha right now. We don't have any uh, industry. All right, so that's fine. So now it should be cheaper. Right, back to 86. Yeah, we'll run these and run these. We'll recruit them after we move over there. Uh, or we can just recruit them now. We don't have the, oh, we don't have the money for that. All right, we need to rest a couple turns then. Ah, I should have recruited them here. Silly me. Let's see. We want this upgrade. We want a lot of upgrades. We just don't have money right now. How's our corruption doing? 20%. Okay, it's a little painful. It's a little painful. Rebellion next turn. Army's in place. Rebellion next turn, but army's not in place. And we don't have the... We can summon next turn. It'll be okay. Hmm. We'll summon him later. Alright, 
still still defend here. We'll save our cash. We need uh we need an army. Alright. I meant to do that. Let's continue. Alright, it's a shame we're gonna lose all these garrisons to this army. We can't really resist. It's not a defensible map, it's an open field map. So yeah, we're not gonna win. Um, not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna delegate this. All right, super unfortunate there. Break the dam. Natural disaster. Okay. Oh, because the enemy has sieged us. They're causing damages with this little army here. We'll end them. All right, factions over. Oh, don't tell me he's still on the map. Oh no, he's gone. Good. She's yet destroyed. Awesome. Okay, plus 10 satisfaction. That's actually huge. Uh, but we don't really have anyone who's angry at us right now. All right, we'll keep the school. We'll go this route. Actually, yeah, it's cheap enough. 7,000. 7,000 should be okay. We're going to fight and then recruit. Any items? No. We'll just delegate. Uh, we'll get replenishment. We'll walk them as far as we can and then start recruiting there. We want at least four of these. Let's see, can we afford another set? Uh, 26. Okay, so we can either choose two more of these and one more of these. Yeah, we don't need six cavalry. I think we do need six front line. Okay. There goes our cash. Um, over here, no items, right? Okay. We can take them out next turn. And we can also test if Gunning gets along with his new wife that we intend to marry once we have cash. Well, they don't hate each other, so that's that's good enough. Um, we'll give Sun Tzu some level. I think Sun Tzu can wait a little. He's only 19. Alright. They'll chill here. And where should we deploy our defenses? We can't really face them off here. Even if we ambush them, we can't really beat that army unless we have a garrison help. They have siege weapons, which makes this vulnerable. I also want to protect the armor crafts. We're talking about. Just one stack. Alright, we're gonna go protect this. This is much safer and we can always re reinforce back pretty easily. Um, their job is to blaze through this and arrive to help soon. And we don't have the money to build anything. Oh, that siege cost us so much. There we go. Alright, I think we're good. Let's check. One less faction on the list, but we're still at war with everyone. Let's continue. All right, new turn. Energetic on Sun Ren, excellent. Ooh, Xun Yu, our first Bruin officer is here. There we go. Recruit. Xia Zhao. Oh, I thought we were going to get two. That would have been great. Um, not right now. Uh, so Xun Yu probably should join Lu Zhi here. Old timers from court. How big is the retinue? Okay, too expensive for us right now, but we can probably add him in pretty soon. I think we're going to do one adjustment. We're going to be in halfway point. So we have enough 
uh, movement to be able to ambush at either site once they poke out. Yeah, I don't think we need to wait for full replenishment on the cavalry. We can just start attacking with this health. Yeah, it'll be good. We'll be... Oh, old friends. Uh, we don't have Lu Zhi here attacking them. It's a shame. Lu Zhi and Zhu Jun. Uh, the anti-yellow turban group. Changsha is a key development. So basically wherever we have administrators we want to develop. We're really short on cash. We'll do this first. Rebels. Can we beat them? Yes, we can. I mean, even if we couldn't, Ganyin can just go there and just hail of arrow to them death on the battlefield. But it's nice to just delegate this. Pick up. Actually, we're gonna recall everyone. Alright. We can still build that. Anything else we can build? Yeah, let's build this instead. We have a level up? Or someone angry? Ooh, level up. Alright, so... Uh, I don't know what to do with you. I think we're going to set you up for the battlefield. With Gunning in the same army. Have that family bonus. Now we're talking about all this marriage, but we don't have the cash to make it happen. But we will. We will. Alright, we're good. Let's double check this. Solid. Let's continue. Alright, so far so good. They're not coming out to attack us just yet. Uh, their army's on the run. Okay, so we don't have to kill our old friend. How old is he, I wonder? 57. We'll let him die peacefully. Alright, we finally can get this. We really need this, though. We even need this. But this is hogging a building slot, so... We're gonna get that. And then we're gonna get rid of that building. Once and for all. And put a state workshop here. For corruption reduction in the future. Uh, Nahai is fine. Where do we want to spend our money? Here. Alright, we'll take the large town. I'm gonna trust this low here. Okay, it's actually low. Good. Another level up. Great. Alright, we're gonna get Flame of the Phoenix first. And then... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll get Firebomb pretty late, level 9. Doesn't do much damage. The Flame of the Phoenix does more damage. Noble Sword. Our son, maybe? He has one. Here. We're gonna try to find a way to get you on the battlefield. Alright, so they're gonna blaze to the rice paddy and then over here and they will meet together. We can start inching forward. We'll stay hidden. Alright, rebellion next turn here. Rebellion two turns here. Alright, that's gonna fit fix. So we're gonna summon three generals here to farm rebels. Who do we want? I guess we'll still level up Ganning. And it was use the same group. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, they can't be standing in the city. Or else the uh, character relationship boost. That's not what I want. I want the rebellion to happen next turn. Alright, fine. They can sit there for military supplies. 
Hmm. Okay, that's a quick turn. We're good. Let's continue. Alrighty. Tasha to trustworthy. That should help with the discount. Plus eight expertise. Alright, let's check out these two guys. 34 year old. Uh, we'll pass. We'll also pass. And we'll take the rice patty. I believe it. Low casualty, please. Alright, very good. Alright, now it's going to take them a little bit of time to loop over there because of the way the road is designed. Three turns? Okay. They can inch up a little bit more to give us a little bit of vision here. Okay, we see them. They're still there. They don't know what's coming for them. Alright, rebelling here next turn, so we need to summon another army here. Alright, Sun Quan can get some level. Chen Pu can take care of him. Oh, Lu Meng. Let's do Lu Meng. They can sit inside. That minus one is not going to do much. Uh, we're going to focus on the ones that have administrators. Okay, once those are done, this one's going to get a rebellion soon as well. Alright, we're going to complete our build with this. Mm. I wanted to see... We have this reform, okay. But we don't have copper or this reform. But we can get copper pretty easily. I'm debating whether we should... Let's build it for now. All right, we're going to upgrade this to level three so that we can get the faction wide bonus to commerce income. Um, all right, everyone's moved. Let's continue. Oh no, they marched their army out. That's unexpected. That's not what we wanted. We have to retreat and hope they can't chase us down. Alright, that was close. Uh, they didn't chase us down. Okay. Jia Long. Ah, because we got Xun Yu, we get Guo Jia as well. Wonderful. Invite him in. Two burn officers. Don't have the money to summon them onto the field, but we have two now. We had zero before. And Guo Jia is our favorite here. Excellent cunning. Just top tier. Oh my god. Who gave him the skill tree? What a waste. Oh, he brought us another builder. That's good. I should still need that. He can use this for now. And then this will give to Han Dong. Okay, everything else is pretty good. Alright. I mean, they recommend each other historically in Cao Cao's faction, but the reason why they know each other very well is that they're both from the uh, same uh, commandery. They're both from uh, right here in, in Chuan. That's where their hometown is. So they recommend each other. No surprise there. Let's go attack them. Alright, I like this setup. The two sons are hunting rebels where the dad has a real army. Alright, 
从天所铸，我军必胜。快滚回去吧。All right, perfect. Let's pull them back. They weren't able to chase us down, but they also disappeared, which means they're probably in ambush somewhere. They need to hurry. We actually just need to run. They can beat them one on one. They don't need help. Uh, we could flush out the other two cavalry, but we can probably just wait. Um, ideally, what we want once he hits six is we can get these cavalry. Uh, not this one right here, mercenary cav. Uh, very good unit. Um, price might be a little high, but the charge is very very strong. All right, but let's spend our money on development here. Changsha in particular, we finally have the. Um, um, industrialist or entrepreneur? Wait, which one? This is entrepreneur, I believe, or artisan. Wait, this is artisan. Yeah, this is artisan. We got the artisan because we got a level four um, private workshop. So now we can upgrade to tier three. All right, this is what we captured. We don't want this. We don't even want this. This is going to be a peasantry and industry commandery. So let's demolish one at a time, actually. So we still get income from this this turn. All right, let's upgrade that. Are we out of cash already? Yes, we're already out of cash. And it seems like we're going to need to summon another army here. To defend Nanhai in another turn. We can do it this turn. Zhou Tai has nothing to do. This one's a bit random. We're probably going to summon Han Dang and then just get rid of his retinues. Yeah, that's probably the plan. Okay, so. Double check. Solid. Let's continue. Okay, so Liu Bao's army actually shifted over here. So what we need to do is protect our capital. That's an easier job to do. That's really what this army is set up to do. Because we're missing a general, and that general is basically Tai Shih Tzu. So this is free. Let's go get them. Artful. That's cute. We get two public water. He's an administrator. Feng Tan. 22. Alright, we'll pass. Didn't see his item last time. Alright, Rebel's coming. We're going to spend some of the money on Han Dang. Who's actually happy in this dysfunctional group? Okay, not upgrading Nanhai yet because missing so many counties. Hepu is not in a real rush either. It's just food. Right, we want to build this right. Get rid of this. This could be very lucrative here. We need a very good uh, champion administrator. All right, we have generals everywhere. We're good. Um, yeah, it will take them at least two turns to get to us. And we can probably take the livestock farm by then. So just a quick check. Still haven't met anyone yet. Let's continue. Okay, we got an armor and we also got a headache. We got a situation. Uh, sage armor. Okay, still decent, I guess. We can definitely go fight this. But look here. How do they have another army show up? I thought we were fighting one. But now we're fighting two. We don't have night battle. I just want to give her high authority. So we're going for these weird skills on the side.
Need, they don't have night battle either. Zhou Yu has night battle, but he's on assignment, so we can't summon him. Hmm. This is a pickle. No one has night battle here. We don't have the cash to dump a huge mercenary army on the field. We just have to fight them in a city defense against two stacks. <laughs> this is going to be tough. Alright, that's going to be next episode. We're going to end our episode here by a free take right here. How come we take medium damage? Uh, I'll fight this and cut it out. Alrighty. Wasn't completely clean, but pretty clean. 17 to 1542. Alright, we did capture this. Uh, that's our save point. We're going to have to be creative here and somehow beat back these two armies in our next episode. So look forward to that. The defense of Changsha part. I don't even know what part. I mean, we beat Liu Bao probably seven, at least seven times already, but it just keeps coming. Uh, he did take, if we notice the map here, he did take Badong. Uh, so he's been expanding quite a bit here. Um, we're going to take all of this and take it and become ours. Um, we got ourselves a nice backup plan in case things go awry here, but I doubt it. I think we can pull it out. It'll be a tough fight, but I believe. So see you guys next time. Bye.